Why the King James Bible is the Holy Bible by Marianne Manley. Why the King James Bible is the Holy Bible. Copyright 2023 by Marianne Manley Cover by Madeleine Wilkinson. Permission is granted to use any and all contents of this book. I share what I have learned from others. The purpose of this book is to help the reader to quickly and concisely understand the Bible issue and become a Bible believer. I am including an article I wrote several years ago and some of my latest research in this easy-to-understand user-friendly brief book. I believe that God would rather enlighten a believer, F. 115, in the Son of God's death for our sins, burial, and resurrection, 1 Cor. 15 colon 3, 4, if they believe that he inspired, preserved, and translated his word perfectly. Lord, please talk to me. Holy King James Bible. Holy Bible. The Holy Bible. WWW. King. Table of Contents. The Translator's Note. Why I use the King James Bible. The King James Bible is the greatest book ever written. The history of the translation. Translating the Bible from one language to another. Verses missing from the NIV. The Catholic Bible changed the doctrine of repentance to do penance problems with the modern Bibles. The KJB provides the key for its study. Where was God's word before 1611? How from a foundation, ye saints of the Lord. The Bible stands like a rock undaunted. King James Instructions to the Translators About the Author Other Books by Marianne Manley Psalms 119 verse 89 Forever, O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. Thully, the Bible, was written over a span of 1,600 years across three continents by over 40 authors in three languages, yet it has primary theme and all points to 1500 BCT, 1100 plus 1000 plus 900 BC, Africa, Aramaic, 222-222-888-888-888, Asia, 500 plus, Europe, New Omega, The Glory of God, Hebrew Greek, 2, 20, and Salvation to Everyone Believing in Jesus Christ, Sense Divine, Onion of 100 AD, Dog. Translating His Word Perfectly is no problem for God. There's a difference between a while a Bible believer knows that God's pure. Written Word, KJV, is the absolute authority. Pastor Richard Jordan has concisely stated that the Bible is the issue. Bible Scholar A Bible scholar thinks he himself is the authority. And a Bible believer. The children of wrath are hateful against God, so don't be surprised when they don't love you for showing them what God's Word, KJV, says. The Bible issue is the issue above everything else. If you can't get this issue straight, there's nothing else you'll ever get straight. Quotes by Pastor Richard Jordan, President of Gray School of the Bible. Tawamikron the High End. Most Mighty. Prince, I Ames, by the grace of God King of Great Britain, France and Ireland, Defender of the Faith, and C. The Translators of the Bible, Why Grace, Mercy, and Peace, Through His B.S. Christ on Lord. Read and manifold were the blefings, moft dread suerain, which almighty go d, the father of all mercies, biftoed pon versus the people of England, when first he fent your mafdi's royal person, to rule and reign o u ear versus. For whereas it was the expectation of many, who wished, not well to our stows, that pon the fetting of that bright occidental star, Queen Elizabeth of most happy memory, phone thick and palpable cludes of dark enough, would f o ha our fat of this land, that men food ha bene in doubt which way they were to walk, and that it should hardly be known, who was to direct the fettled state, the appearance of your maiestie, as of the san in his strength, infinitely diff pelled fo fup oft. 
and firmafed myths, and gave to all that were well affected, exceeding cough of comfort, especially when we beheld the government established in your highness e, and your hopeful seed, by undoubted title, and this alpho accompanied with peace and tranquility, at home and abroad. But amongst all our loys, there was no one that more filled our hearts, than the bluffled continuance of the preaching of God's fakered word amongst verses, which is that inestimable treffure, which excelleth all the riches. 2007, the translator's note. For when your highness had once out of deep judgment apprehended how convenient it was, that out of the original sacred tongues, together with comparing of the labors, both in our own and other foreign languages, of many worthy men who went before us, there should be. One more exact asterisk translation of the Holy Scriptures into the English tongue, KJV 1611 dedication to King James. Asterisk exact equals OED defines exact into two general categories. I, perfected, consummate, finished. Two, precise, rigorous, accurate. Every word of God is pure. He is a shield unto them that put their trust in him. Proverbs 30 verse 5, KJV. Original manuscripts, approximately 55 AD 95 AD John 16 verses 13 to 15. Luke 21 verse 33. 1 John 5 verse 7. Koine Greek. The church at Antioch sent missionaries to northern Italy and I translated the Italic version in 157 AD. John Wycliffe, First English, Northern Territory 1380. Koine Greek. William Tyndall 1525. The church at Antioch translated the word into Syrian, the Peshitta, in 150 AD, Erasmus Greek New Testament 1516, Miles Coverdale. 1535, note, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you, and, lo, I am with you alway, even unto the end of the world. Amen. Matthew 28 verse 20, the house of God, which is the church of the living God, the pillar and ground of the truth. 1 Timothy 3 verse 15. Initial Gnostic Corruption 2 Corinthians 2 verses 17 and 1 John 4 verses 1 to 3. John Rogers, Matthews. 1537, Coverdale's revision of Matthew's Bible, called the Great Bible, printed Geneva Bible, by Whitchurch, 1539-1560. Bishop's Bible 1568. Further Gnostic and Arian Corruptions by Origens. Origen. Adamantius, 185-254 AD, of Alexandria, Egypt. Classical Greek. Translations of the Waldensian churches of Northern Italy were. Also consulted by the KJV translators. Neve 1973. Over 100 more. Enlist translations based on the corruptions of Origen, Eusebius, Westcott and Hort. The first, Christian Pontifex Maximus, Constantine, 272-337 AD, had his ecclesiastical advisor, Eusebius, 263-339 AD, make 50 copies of the Bible. Eusebius being a follower of Origen, chose his corrupt text to copy from. Nace 1963. The authorized KJV continues to stand the test of time. King James Version 1611. Codex Vaticanus, a copy of one of Eusebius' 50 corrupt manuscripts, was discovered in the Pope's library in 1481. Vaticanus was available to the KJV translators, but was rejected. In 1881 two arch heretics, Brooke Foss Westcott and Fenton John, Anthony Hort, published their Greek Testament based on Vaticanus and another Alexandrian-slash-Roman manuscript, Sinaiticus. RSV 1346. American Standard Engish, Revised Version 1301, Version 1351. Why I use the King James Bible. There are several reasons why I use the King James Bible. If you are new to the KJB, I hope that you will allow me to get you excited about putting out the extra effort it takes to get used to this Bible. Many people have urged me to use other versions of the Bible such as the NKJV, ESV, NASB, or NIV. I agree that it is possible for God to use these easy-to-read modern Bible versions to save a soul. But God wants us also to come unto the knowledge of the truth, 1 Tim. 2 4, easier and popular is not always better. 
I have come to understand that it is not only a matter of simply taking out the these and thous, but also that the changes in the modern Bible versions are both textual and doctrinal. I hope you will realize that I have your best interest in mind and that I am only trying to bless you. After reading my reasons for using the King James Version of the Bible, I hope that you will understand its benefits and welcome the challenge. That you will apply yourself to enjoying it. Here are some of the reasons. The King James Bible cuts me to the heart and convicts my soul like no other Bible does. Try it for yourself, take any passage of scripture and read it in various Bible translations, which one speaks to you. Although the original autographs no longer exist, God has preserved his word perfectly by exact copies of the originals. I believe that the KJB is the precise 100% accurate word of God. I believe God has kept his promise and preserved his word. I believe that he oversaw every step of the preservation of his word from the inspiration of holy men moved by the Holy Spirit to write it to the collection, translation, by 47 men who had the Holy Ghost in them, to the printing and publication. The Old Testament in the 1611 King James Bible is based on the Hebrew Masoretic text, manuscripts carefully copied by hand by the Jewish scribes using strict rules to help prevent errors and departures from the original autographs. A small part of the Bible is an Aramaic, such as portions of the Book of Daniel. In 1516 and 1522 Erasmus published his collection of the best Greek New Testament manuscripts, called the Textus Receptus, Received Text. He gathered this from the Byzantines who fled to Europe after the Turks invaded what had been the Eastern Roman Empire in 1453. The King James New Testament, Martin Luther's German New Testament, asterisk note page 17, and the Textus Receptus, KJB Greek New Testament, are the only Bible versions which do not have any words of God omitted. Over time and after a great deal of research I have come to understand that almost all modern Bible versions are based on the corrupt Alexandrian texts, the Codex Vaticanus and the Codex Sinaiticus. These few texts have been eclectically, a little bit of this and a little bit of that, brought together into a critical text assembled, or concocted, by two unbelieving men, Westcott and Hort in 1881. Nestle Allund slash UBS, United Bible Society, also used the Westcott and Hort corrupt Greek New Testament. They included a Jesuit priest, Carlo Martini, on their Bible committee. Higher criticism, which swept over Germany and other parts of Europe after Martin Luther died, also denied the deity of Jesus. For those new to the King James Bible, it is valuable to know some of its features. The King James Bible is a word-for-word, -word, formal equivalence, rather than a thought-for-thought, -thought, dynamic equivalence, translation. Every word of God is pure. Proverbs 30 verse 5. It is well worth it to get used to the pronouns used in the KJB, because they are more specific than the general pronoun you. If it has a T such as in the and thou it is singular, if it has a Y as in ye and you it is plural. Thus, I said unto thee, Nicodemus, ye, plural you, meaning the nation of Israel, must be born again, John 3 verse 7. The KJB does not capitalize the pronoun names for God. To do so can be presumptive and it is left up to the reader to interpret the one referred to in the Bible with the help of the Holy Spirit. So please realize that although I capitalize words which pertain to God, the KJB may have these words in lower case. Be prepared that British English in the KJB has a slightly different spelling than American English in words such as Savior. In addition, the suffix eth indicates ongoing present tense such as worketh. The King James Bible, 1611, does not use quotation marks, but capital letters begin a conversation. The spelling was updated in 1769. The 47 King James Bible translators italicized words which they included for clarity but were not in the original manuscripts. Here is an example, I am he, John 8 verse 28. This lets the reader see at a glance what is written in the original Word of God. The cross-references between the Old and the New Testament and other verses are easily accessed in the King James Bible. God's word is precise and concise. He uses similar words and phrases so we can compare them and understand more of his word. For more information, go to kjvtoday.com or get the excellent book Bible Perversions by Eric and Lana Newman available on Amazon.
The KJB uses the precise identical word or phrase for easy cross-reference between the Old and the New Testament. For example, the father of many nations is found in Genesis 17 verses 3 and 4 and Rom. 4 17, 18. Furthermore, the KJB contains a unique number code. After the KJB was published in 1611 most people acquired this book rather than the very popular Geneva Bible because of its formal equivalence to the Word of God and beautiful poetic language. Satan has been attacking God's word from the beginning, yeah, hath God said, ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? Genesis 3 verse 1, but God has promised to preserve his word. The words of the Lord are pure words, as silver tried in a furnace of earth, purified seven times. Thou shalt keep them, O Lord, thou shalt preserve them from this generation forever. Psalms 12 verses 6 and 7. God gave his word through 40 different Jewish men over 1,600 years written in three different languages, Hebrew, Greek, and Aramaic. God preserved the Bible down through the centuries through dedicated copyists who meticulously copied it by hand. Yet this collection of 66 books fit together perfectly to reveal one continuous and complete blueprint of who God is, what he has done, and will do in heaven and on earth. This perfect continuity could only occur if God told these men what to write. The fulfilled prophecies confirm that God is the author. The majority of all ancient Bible texts found, over 5,000, agree with the KJB. An excellent DVD documentary on how we got the King James Bible and church history is a lamp in the dark. The Untold History of the Bible, a Chris Pinto production, find it on YouTube or their website adullamfilms.com. I used the NKJV for 15 years before I understood the problems with it. A good video on the NKJV problems on YouTube is the New King James Perversion. The New King James follows the Jehovah's Witness Bible in places calling Jesus a servant instead of the Son of God. The Subtle Changes Omissions and footnotes in the NKJV will not only weaken a person's faith, it takes a person away from the powerful true Word of God found only in the King James Bible. Another excellent source for more information is Gail Ripplinger's New Age Bible Versions seminar on YouTube.com. The NKJV does not use the same manuscript as the KJV. The NKJV uses the corrupt Stuttgart edition of the Old Testament Hebrew text, Ben Asher, not the Hebrew, Ben Heim, used in the King James Bible. The NKJV omits the word blood 23 times, Lord 66 times, God 51 times, heaven 50 times, repent 44 times, hell 22 times. The following words are completely omitted New Testament, damnation, devils, Jehovah. The NKJV ignores and departs from the KJB Textus Receptus 1200 times. This information is taken from the website, Messiah Congregation Oni Messiah.net slash New Jersey KV.htm. Please notice how a very important verse for right division is changed in the New King James Version, NKJV. Compare the following. Romans 15 verse 8, KJB. Now I say that Jesus Christ was a minister of the circumcision for the truth of God, to confirm the promises made unto the fathers. Rom. 15 8, NKJV, Now I say that Jesus Christ has become a servant to the circumcision for the truth of God, to confirm the promises made to the fathers. Christ was, not as the NKJV says, has become a minister to the circumcision, Israel, when he was on earth, as Paul explained. Here is an example of a doctrinal change in the New King James Version. 1 Corinthians 1 verse 18, NKJV, for the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved it is the power of God. 1 Cor. 118, KJB. For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness, but unto us which are saved it is the power of God. Notice how the NKJV changed the doctrine of salvation to a progressive salvation, rather than a one-time instantaneous event saying we are being saved in one COR. 118, no one can be secure if they are being saved, instead of are saved. The NKJV is a counterfeit Bible, not the KJV. The New International Version, NIV, is missing 16 entire verses.
Try finding Acts 8 verse 37 in the NIV. Here is the list of missing verses. Some newer NIV Bibles have these verses in the footnotes, but they belong in the text. Matthew 17 verse 21, 18 verse 11, 23 14. Mark 7 verse 16, 9 verse 44, 9 verse 46, 11 verse 26, 15 28. Luke 17 verse 36, 23 verse 17, John 5 verse 4, Acts 8 verse 37, 15 verse 34, 24 verse 7, 28 colon 29. Romans 16 verse 24 and 1 John 5 verse 7, this verse is missing words. Philo, AD 25 BC 50, a Jewish man, tried to unite Greek philosophy, Plato, with the Jewish Old Testament. Origen, AD 185 to 254, did much damage to God's word by changing it in Alexandria, Egypt. The true line of Bibles came from the Antioch line. Paul says that after my departing shall grievous wolves enter in among you, not sparing the flock. Also of your own selves shall men arise, speaking perverse things. Acts 20 verse 29, 30a. Paul also writes, For we are not as many which corrupt the word of God. 2 Cor. 2.17, see if this verse is quoted correctly in your Bible, God was manifest in the flesh, 1 Tim. 3.16, some Bibles leave out God. Satan is taking the true word of God away from Christians, and many are unaware of what is happening. There is evidence that Vaticanus, that includes the Apocrypha, was one of the 50 Greek Bibles Constantine commissioned Eusebius, the Bishop of Caesarea, an admirer of Origen, to prepare for the Bishop Constantinople in AD 331. The KJB translators primarily used the used the bishop's Bible correcting any errors and the Greek texts of Stephanus 1550 and Beza 1598. I believe the King James Bible is the true word of God in the English language, perfectly based on the true Greek and Hebrew texts which God has preserved. There are really only two Bibles in the world today, those based on God's preserved texts like the KJB, and all the others based on corrupt texts. How firm a foundation he has laid for us all in his excellent word. We need to use the most accurate text in our Bible study. For all these reasons, I believe that I would be wasting your time and mine if I use any other Bible version. God does not want his word changed in any way, not added or subtracted to. If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life, and out of the holy city, and from the things which are written in this book. Revelation 22 verses 18 and 19. Satan used the Catholic Church to keep the Bible from the common people. The inferior Alexandrian text, Vulgate, was kept in a dead language which few could read, Latin, shut up for the 1,000-year Dark Ages, AD 500-1500. But Martin Luther hatched the egg that Erasmus had laid by translating the Textus Receptus, which Erasmus had collected so that people could read it. William Tyndall, 1494-1536, was the first to translate the Greek, TR, and Hebrew Bible into English. The King James Bible Old Testament is 76% the New Testament is about 90% the work of Tyndall, Bear, Michael Bible Doctrines for Today, Abika Book, Pensacola, Florida 1996, page 79. Remember, the modern Bible versions hide, obscure, the revelation of the mystery given to Paul. But the mystery is evident in the King James Bible, for those who study the Bible rightly divided. Proving the superiority of the King James Bible is simple and easy. The KJV exalts the Lord Jesus Christ more than any other Bible on the planet. The true scriptures testify of Jesus Christ and exalt him. Proving the superiority of the King James Bible is simple and easy. The KJV exalts the Lord Jesus Christ higher than any other book or Bible version on the planet. The true scriptures will testify of Jesus Christ, not attack him. Anyone who denies this is either ignorant or an enemy of God. The KJB, also known as the KJV, is a masterpiece inspired and preserved by God, the Holy Spirit. The Lord Jesus Christ, the Word, John 1 verses 1 to 4, said that his words are eternal, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away, Matt. 2400 hours, 35.
Now I not only use the King James Bible, but believe it is God's perfect word. Paul's followers preserved the true word of God in Antioch. AP Trolley's Landy. Korea Alicia. Rhodes. Rhodes. All modern versions. Alexandria. ISA 1414, row 1,21-23. De Lake Tropies. Kurthu. Paffer. Cilicia. Cyprus Salamis. Antioch. KJV Bible. Memphis Bell. Egyptus. Tabipli. Pelham. Tamus. 2 co 217. 2 co 4 colon 2. Call 1 colon 23-26. Allegorical reading of the scriptures, tendency to over-spiritualize using a metaphysical approach, fueled by a vain desire to move beyond the physical toward man's ideas of spiritual things. Worked from 50 manuscripts that didn't agree with one another, doubted Jesus' deity and miracles. Philo and Origen mostly responsible. The origin of systematic theology. S.Y.R. Damas. Permam. Arabia Patria. 1. F. X. B. 8. Mesopotamia. A. Babylon. Always consider. The source. Two schools. Alexandria versus. Antioch. Literal reading, historical, factual, stress on the grammatical and historical and literal approach, faithful to concrete realities and factual historicity grounded in God's view as it is written. Worked from the 5,000 received text manuscripts that were in agreement, believed Jesus' deity and miracles. Word fulfilled by Paul. The origin of dispensationalism. The King James Bible is the greatest book ever written. The King James Bible proves itself to be of extraterrestrial origin, within its pages is conclusive evidence that its author is outside of space and time. God prophesied many things, he told Abram his seed would be strangers in Egypt for 400 years. The KJB is the pure word of God, divinely written, designed, and structured. It contains all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge that God wants believers in his kingdom, in heaven and earth, to know. F. 110, Forever, O Lord, Thy word is settled in heaven. Psalms 119 verse 89. The Lord Jesus Christ said, Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. Matt. 2400 hours 35, God not only inspired his word, PSA. 45, colon 1, 2 Tim. 316, 2 Peter 1 verse 20, but also promised to preserve it, Exodus 34 verse 1, Josh. 834, 35, ISA, 30, colon 8, J, 36, colon 32, Luke 24, verse 27, John 12, verse 48. The grass withereth, the flower for death, but the word of our God shall stand forever. Isaiah 40, verse 8. God achieved the perfect translation into English by the process of refining. The words of the Lord are pure words, as silver tried in a furnace of earth, purified seven times. Thou shalt keep them, O Lord, thou shalt preserve them from this generation forever. Psalms 12 verses 6 and 7. Preservation is necessary because Satan seeks to corrupt the word of God, to core. 217, the line of Bibles to the perfection of the KJB. 1. Tyndall, 1526. 2. Coverdale, 1535. 3. Matthews, John Rogers, 1537. 4. The Great Bible, 1539. 5. Geneva, 1560. 6. Bishops, 1568. 7. King James, 1611. God used imperfect men to produce a perfect Bible. How can God do so? The answer is that they had Christ in you. Colossians 1 verse 27. So the Spirit of God did it through them. The Holy Ghost brought all things in the four Gospels to their remembrance. John 14 verse 26 and showed them things to come in Hebrews, to Revelation, John 16 verses 12 to 15. Moses and Paul both had faults, but God used them to be his spokesman. The brilliant King James Bible translators produced a translation that was clearly above and beyond their own ability, for these believers had his spirit in them helping them. The translation of the Bible was authorized by King James of England. The KJB has undergone minor revisions of three types. 1. Updated type from Gothic to Roman. 
2. Corrected printing mistakes. The type was set by hand one piece at a time. 3. Standardization of spelling and punctuation changes. The F changed to S. The King James Bible itself is the greatest evidence that it is the inspired Word of God. There are no errors in the KJB. Once we look at all the facts and are 99% sure then our hearts need to put our faith in the last 1% and be 100% sure that God did what he said. We submit to the King James Bible as our final authority in all matters of faith and practice. Jesus Christ is the Word, to attack his Word is to attack him. Proving the superiority of the King James Bible is simple for it exalts the Lord. Jesus Christ higher than any other Bible. The true scriptures will testify of Jesus Christ, not attack him. The KJB is perfect and fruitful and countless people have been saved by God's powerful word therein. Bible believers believe that the King James Bible is the perfect word of God. We only need the spirit and the book God gave us to learn his truth. God never said that he only inspired his word in the original writing of his word, nor that he would only preserve his word in the original languages. God is able to translate his word into other languages. For example, in Acts 22, Paul speaks in Hebrew, Luke records it in Greek, and we read it in English. During this dispensation of grace, when Israel has fallen and salvation has gone to the Gentiles, it makes sense that God preserved his word in the language that most Gentiles know, English. The King James Bible is a living book. When the KJB says all scripture is given by inspiration of God, to Tim, 3.16, it is referring to the Holy Scriptures, 2 Tim. 3.15, Timothy had them as a child, and they were copies of the originals. Rather than correcting or changing God's Word to suit our presuppositions, we should allow God's Word to correct and change us that believe. For this cause also thank we God without ceasing, because, when ye received the word of God which ye heard of us, ye received it not as the word of men, but as it is in truth, the word of God, which effectually worketh also in you that believe. 1 Thess 2.13 KJB SSBG To be saved believe 1 Corinthians 15 verses 1 to 4 plus nothing. The History of the Translation the English King James Bible translators were some of the finest Bible translators England has ever known. As a whole, they were masters not only of Hebrew, Aramaic, Greek, and Latin, but also of the associate languages that are necessary for research into ancient documents, sometimes handwritten, relative to the Bible. These include Persian, Coptic, Syriac, Armenian, and Chaldee. These Christian men had the Spirit of God in them. The goal of the King's translators of 1604 to 1611 was a principal accurate translation of God's perfectly preserved word in English. The 54 translators, the number was reduced to 47, were divided into six groups with two groups in each city, Westminster, Cambridge, and Oxford. Each translator translated the text and then came together into his group and had to agree on every single word to produce the best text from the member's work. They would then pass that text on to others, so the text was reviewed more than 12 times before being agreed on by the whole group. In the rare instance of difficult translation of a passage, they could consult with other wise men in the community. The King James Bible translators were instructed that unless the bishop's Bible departs from the original text, leave the text as it is. The bishop's Bible was about 90% based on William Tyndall's translation of the Greek New Testament collected and published by Erasmus of Rotterdam, 1522. Erasmus published his collection five times, 1516, 1519, 1522, 1527, 1535. A Roman Catholic scholar told Tyndall, it were better for us to be without God's laws than without the popes. Tyndall replied, I defy the pope and all his laws, and if God spare my life, ere many years, I will cause a boy that driveth the plough to know more of the scripture than you do. Tyndall wrote about this pivotal incident, which thing only moved me to translate the New Testament, because I had perceived by experience how that it was impossible to establish the lay people in any truth, except the scriptures were plainly laid before their eyes in the mother tongue. Translators revived by Alexander McClure, 1855, p. 23. 
Tyndall was an expert in seven languages, Hebrew, Greek, Latin, Italian, Spanish, English, and French, translators revived, pages 27, 28. By the time Tyndall was betrayed by his friend, imprisoned and nearly freezing during the cold winter in his cell, he had finished translating the New Testament into English and some of the Old Testament books, and had trained at least two others to carry on his work. Just before he was choked to death and his body burnt at the stake on October 4, 1536, he cried out prayerfully, Lord open the King of England's eyes. That very day, a copy of Tyndall's New Testament was being printed by the King's own printer. God was at work in answer to Tyndall's prayer the very day he prayed it. But the King James Bible was not published until 1611. If we want to know what the Greek and the Hebrew say, all we have to do is study the English text of the KJB. It is very helpful to have the entire Bible in one language so that similar words can be cross-referenced in both testaments. Scrivener attempted to compose the underlying TR of the KJB. He took liberties with quite a few of the readings. Scrivener and Strong both worked on the Westcott and Hort Revision Committee that produced the corrupt revised version of 1881, which is the grandfather of the modern versions. James. White and Dan Wallace are some of the worst critics of the pure King James Bible. God said what he meant and never asked us to correct him, but to believe every inspired word. Asterisk I have recently learned that Luther's version of 1545 omitted part of 1 John 5 verse 7. The whole verse was in the German Schlachter Bible of 2000 and some others. Translating the Bible from one language to another. Everyone understands that every word cannot be translated exactly from one language to another, but the King James Bible is an accurate, perfect, pure translation of God's words, PROV, 30,5. God is able to translate his word with authority. For example, the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth spoke to Apostle Paul in Hebrew on the road to Damascus in Acts 9, Luke records God's words in Greek, and in the KJB, we can be confident we have the true words in English. And when we were all fallen to the earth, I heard a voice speaking unto me, and saying in the Hebrew tongue, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? It is hard for thee to kick against the pricks. And I said, Who art thou, Lord? And he said, I am Jesus whom thou persecutes. Acts 26 verses 14 and 15. Similarly, Paul speaks in Hebrew in Acts 22, which is recorded in Greek, and then translated into English in the KJB. Translating words is no problem for God. God has preserved his words with a multiplicity of copies, Deuteronomy 17:18, Colossians 4 verse 16. God even made a copy of the Ten Commandments written on stone, Exodus 34 verse 1, Deuteronomy 10, 1. God's words were first written down by Moses, and then progressively added to by the Old Testament prophets and then the New Testament writers in the little flock, Luke 12 verse 32. God gave Apostle Paul the task to fulfill the word of God, Colossians 1 verse 25, to finish and complete the Bible. The King James Bible is a masterpiece. I love it. The Textus Receptus is a family of 27 differing editions, and none match the KJB in every reading. The KJB corrects any Bible text where that text differs from the KJB in a reading. The KJB is its own TR edition and the only one that is pure. Some examples of preserved copies of God's Word available to the King James Bible translators are Jerome's Vulgate of 400, John Wycliffe's Bible of 1384, Spanish Complutensian Polyglot of 1517, Erasmus Greek Text of 1516, 1519, 1522, 1527, 1535, the Antwerp Polyglot of 1572, Martin Luther's German of 1522, William Tyndall's translation of 1526, the Colinia of 1534, Miles Coverdale's of 1535, John Rogers Matthews of 1537, the Great Bible of 1539, the Syriac of 1555, the Geneva Bible of 1560, Stephanus of 1550, Beza of 1598, 
the Nuremberg Polyglot 1599, the Italian Diadate of 1607, French Diatables and Olive Tan of 1535, the Spanish Reina Valera of 1602, the Catholic Douay Reims of 1609, Wycliffe was the first to use chapter divisions in 1382 and Robert Estienne's edition of the Latin Vulgate in 1555. He seemed to have used the verse divisions in the Old Testament by a rabbi named Nathan in A.D. 1448. The first English Bible to have chapter and verse divisions was the Geneva Bible of 1560. The Old Testament in the KJB is translated from the Masoretic Hebrew text not the corrupt Greek translation of the Old Testament known as the Septuagint. Origen, AD 185-254, in Alexandria, Egypt, corrupted God's word. The New Testament is also known as the Received Text, Textus Receptus, or Byzantine Text. There are more than 5,000 copies that have been found which mainly agree with one another. Less than 50 copies exist based on the corrupt. 1. Codex Sinaiticus Aleph was discovered in a trash can at the St. Catherine Monastery at the foot of Mount Sinai by the German scholar Tischendorf. 2. Codex Vaticanus Beth was discovered in the Vatican Library in 1481. Almost all modern Bible versions are based on the corrupt Alexandrian texts, the Vaticanus and the Sinaiticus. These few texts have been eclectically, a little bit of this and a little bit of that, brought together into a critical text assembled, or concocted, by two unbelieving men, Westcott and Hort in 1881. Nestle Allund slash UBS, United Bible Society, also used the Westcott and Hort corrupt Greek New Testament. They included a Jesuit priest, Carlo Martini, on their Bible committee. Higher criticism, which swept over Germany and other parts of Europe after Martin Luther died, 1546, also denied the deity of Jesus. All scripture were written by holy men of God who were inspired to write every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God, Matt. 4, 4, 2 Peter 2 verse 21. Verses missing from the NIV. KJV versus NIV. Removed verses from NIV. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. 716, 944, 5, 4, 946, 1126, 1528, Romans, 1624, 1721, 1811, 2314, Acts 8 verse 37, 1534, 24, colon 7, 28, colon 29, 1736, 2317, 1 John, 5, colon 7, King of Rings Winistry. The modern versions, RSV, NIV, NASB, ESB, NLT, NWT, Message, etc., are all based on Westcott and Hoard's Corrupt Greek New Testament, 1881. God's Truth versus Satan's Lies. King James. Bible. KJV. NKJV. Neve. NAS. ESV. ASV all modern versions the catholic bible changed the doctrine of repentance to do penance martin luther said that no acts of penance or work can clear a person of sins martin luther translated the greek textus receptus collected by erasmus and said that in matt for 17 jesus did not mean that we should do penance from that time jesus began to preach and to say repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand Matt, 417, KJB. From that time Jesus began to preach, and to say, Do penance, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Matt, 417, Do Eremes. Then Peter said unto them, Repent, and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Acts 2 verse 38. Change your mind about who Jesus Christ is, Israel's King. 
But Peter said to them, Do penance, and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of your sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Douay Reims Acts 2 verse 38 John the Baptist, and saying, Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand, Matt. 3 colon 2, KJB. John the Baptist, and saying, Do penance, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand, Matt. 3 colon 2, Douay Reims. Repent means a change of mind, to regret one's choice. God repented, and it repented the Lord that he had made man on the earth, and it grieved him at his heart. Genesis 6 verse 6. Change your mind, believe that Jesus is the Holy One and Lord and be turned so your national sins will be blotted out at his second coming. Repent ye therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Acts 3 verse 19. Be penitent, therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out. Acts 3 verse 19, Douay Reims. Paul said we should change our minds and believe what God said his son did. And the times of this ignorance God winked at, but now come in death all men everywhere to repent. Acts 17 verse 30, KJB. And God indeed having winked at the times of this ignorance, now declareth unto men that all should everywhere do penance. Acts 17 verse 30, Douay Reims. Paul said, We are not as many which corrupt the word of God, 2 Cor. 2.17. Problems with the Modern Bibles In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. John 1 verse 1, KJB Originally the Word was, and the Word was with God, and the Word was a God. John 1 verse 1, Jehovah's Witnesses New World Translation And Abraham said, My son, God will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. So they wed both of them together. Genesis 22 verse 8, KJB And Abraham said, my son, God will provide for himself the lamb for a burnt offering. So the two of them went together, Genesis 22 verse 8, NKJV. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which didst weaken the nations? Isaiah 14 verse 12, KJV. How you have fallen from heaven, morning star, son of the dawn. You have been cast down to the earth, you who once laid low the nations. Isaiah 14 verse 12, NIV. How you are fallen from heaven, O day star, son of dawn. How you are cut down to the ground, you who laid the nations low. Isaiah 14 verse 12, ESV. Both morning star, Revelation 22 verse 16, and day star, 2 Peter 2 verse 19, are references to Jesus Christ, KJB. But the modern Bibles use the same name to replace Lucifer. And Jesus answered him, saying, It is written, that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. Luke 4 verse 4, KJB. And Jesus answered him, It is written, man shall not live by bread alone, Luke 4 verse 4, ESV. The ESV omitted words. All of the modern versions are corrupt. If thou therefore wilt worship me, all shall be thine. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Get thee behind me, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Luke 4 verses 7 and 8, KJB. If you, then, will worship me, it will all be yours. And Jesus answered him, It is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him only shall you serve. Luke 4 verses 7 and 8, ESB. The ESB omitted words again. For he hath made him who knew no sin to be sin for us, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him, 2 Cor. 521, KJB. For he made him who knew no sin to be sin for us, that we might become the righteousness of God in him, 2 Corinthians 5 verse 21, and KJB, in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. Colossians 1 verse 14, KJB, through his blood, is omitted in RSV, NASB, NIV, ESV, etc. Things that are different are not the same. Galatians 2 verse 7 has been corrupted in modern Bibles, so the two Gospels are hid. But contrarywise, when they saw that the Gospel of the uncircumcision was committed unto me, as the Gospel of the circumcision was unto Peter. Galatians 2 verse 7, KJB. 
The two Gospels, one to Paul and the other to Peter, are clear in the KJV. But on the contrary, when they saw that the gospel for the uncircumcised had been committed to me, as the gospel for the circumcised was to Peter. Galatians 2 verse 7, NKJV. The gospel for and strange italics is not the same as the gospel of. On the contrary, when they saw that I had been entrusted with the gospel to the uncircumcised, just as Peter had been entrusted with the gospel to the circumcised. Galatians 2 verse 7, ESV. The gospel to is not the same as the gospel of, but on the contrary, seeing that I had been entrusted with the gospel to the uncircumcised, just as Peter had been to the circumcised. Galatians 2 verse 7, NASB. But on the contrary, when they saw that I had been entrusted with the gospel to the uncircumcised, just as Peter had been entrusted with the gospel to the circumcised. Galatians 2 verse 7, RSV. The audience becomes the focus, not the message. The KJB says we are justified by the faith of Christ, Gal. 2.16, all modern Bibles replace of within. If the faith of Jesus is replaced with our faith in Jesus, then the emphasis is no longer on Jesus, but on the believer. The NASB wrongly says Isaiah the prophet then quotes Mel. Three colon one and Isaiah forty verse three, the beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, just as it is written in Isaiah the prophet, behold, I am sending my messenger before you, who will prepare your way. The voice of one calling out in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. Mark one verses one to three, NASB, while the KJB correctly says prophets plural and quotes both Isaiah and Malachi. The beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, as it is written in the prophets, Behold, I send my messenger before thy face, which shall prepare thy way before thee. The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his path straight. Mark 1 verses 1 to 3, KJB. The King James Bible is the only Bible that commands us to study it God's way. Close. KJV 15, King James Version Study to shew thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. 15, Compare Versions 2 Timothy 2 verse 15 ESV, No Study English Standard Version Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who has no need to be ashamed, rightly handling the word of truth. No Dividing Edit 15, NIV, No Study, New International Version. Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who does not need to be ashamed and who correctly handles the word of truth. No Dividing. 15, NASB, No Study, New American Standard Bible. Be diligent to present yourself approved to God as a workman who does not need to be ashamed, accurately handling the word of truth. No Dividing. The King James Bible is our final authority. We do not add to it. We do not subtract from it. We do not correct it. The KJB provides the key for its study. Study, rightly dividing the word of truth. 2 Timothy 2 verse 15. This is the key for understanding the Bible. It is a dispensational book. It is not enough to be biblical, we must also be dispensational. The word dispensation occurs four times in the KJB, 1 Cor. 9, 117, F. 1 10, 3, 2, Colossians 1 verse 25, but is removed or changed in the modern versions. Therefore, the modern versions hinder the right division of the scriptures. Cross-referencing is easy with the KJB, since the same words are used. The KJB has a built-in dictionary, 2 Peter 1 verses 20 and 21. The KJB is a self-interpreting book and contains everything needed to understand it. The perfect use of numbers in the Bible shows God's wisdom. The inspired Word of God is perfectly preserved in the KJB with power and authority. It is the only English Bible that is completely pure and without error. It is not inferior to the original writings. 
The KJB and not the Hebrew and Greek manuscripts are the final authority today. It is not enough to use the KJB, we must believe it and submit to its authority. We change our beliefs to match the Word of God, we do not change God's Word. The Word of God, which effectually worketh also in you, that believe, 1 Thess. 2.13 Moses with the Tablets of the Ten Commandments, by Rembrandt Van Rijn, 1659 And the Lord said unto Moses, Hew thee two tables of stone, like unto the first, and I will write. Upon these tables, the words that were in the first tables, which thou breakest, Exodus 34 verse 1. Where was God's word before 1611? God's word was there all the time, PSA. 119 colon 89. God has preserved his word by a multiplicity of accurate copies in Hebrew and Greek. The Hebrew text was written by Moses and other prophets to Malachi. The original Greek New Testament, NT, manuscripts were written first by Christ's earthly followers, the Twelve Apostles in Jerusalem, and then by Apostle Paul beginning in Antioch of Syria. God gave Paul the task of completing the Bible, Colossians 1 verse 25. Then the Greek was translated into Aramaic, Peshitta 100 to 200, Latin, Old Italian, Waldensian, and other languages. John Wycliffe translated Jerome's Latin Vulgate into English in 1380. Martin Luther, German, and William Tyndall, English, were the first to translate the accurate Greek New Testament texts, collected by Erasmus of Rotterdam, 1522. The compiled Stephanus Greek NT came out in 1550 and the Beza Greek NT in 1598. The 47 King James Bible translators used several preserved Bible texts, but mainly the Bishop's Bible, 1568, which was based primarily, 90%, on Tyndall's NT work, 1526, 1534, 1535. The King James translators were well-educated, brilliant, God-fearing imperfect men. But with his spirit in them, God used them to edit and correct his word and achieved the perfect translation into English by the process of refining, PSA, 12, 6, 7. The Holy Ghost worked mightily in them to make sure the inspired words of God were rendered precisely and perfectly, which is why the authorized version is properly called the Holy Bible. The salvation of believers in heaven and earth depended on the work of Jesus Christ the Son of God on Calvary and hinged on his preserved, perfect word to us. 7775 plus 594 King James Bible 15550 777 OT 39 3 by 13 297 plus 297 plus 3 x 3 x 33 plus 3 by 3 by 33 plus books 66 33 plus 33 3 by 22 chapters 1189 ot 929 plus nt 260 1 psalms 117 1 1 nt 27 3 by 9 Verses 31102, 33 words, the middle chapter, the shortest chapter, 297 plus 297 plus 3 times 3 times 33 plus 3 x 3 by 33, OT 23145 plus NT 7957, 15551 plus 15551. Psalms 103 verses 1 to 2 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 28 words 14 plus 14 the middle verses 594 15550 77 75 plus 777 the numbers show that the bible is from god 1189 chapters 31,102 verses. How firm a foundation, ye saints of the Lord, author unknown attributed to Robert Keane, 1787. How firm a foundation, ye saints of the Lord, is laid for your faith in God's excellent word. What more can be said than to you God hath said, to you who for refuge to Jesus have fled? Fear not, I am with thee, O be not dismayed. For I am thy God, 
and will still give thee aid. I'll strengthen thee, help thee, and cause thee to stand, upheld by my righteous, omnipotent hand. When through the deep waters I call thee to go, the rivers of sorrow shall not overflow. For I will be near thee, thy troubles to bless, and sanctify to thee thy deepest distress. When through fiery trials thy pathway shall lie, my grace, all sufficient, shall be thy supply, the flame shall not hurt thee, I only design thy dross to consume, and thy gold to refine. The soul that on Jesus hath leaned for repose. I will not, I will not desert to its foes. That soul, though all hell, should endeavor to shake, I'll never, no, never, no, never forsake. The Promber. 1500 St. Markle, the Jort N1104 Olin YPR, he D.A.S. Edition 19 and he was Tvor Buess with Thai Tecro Scale of Tien B. Pick 11 A.S.D. Lu S. W. W. Dot Ban Yourself They Hand and 21 and he S. Y. F. Denof God Het Uni and Outer Abeleta Photo to the Online P2222 for this street 12 TT, and still the eldest MIT pay OD Necked at MM Maimond on Deal W. DSA. D Sex at the WHE, then the DY padded 2, and he taught they 14, the by Painies, and to 15 to ACTRE Devi, by lead, of Walda. Don't take someone else's word for it. Read it for 1. N. Why yeah, N of Galar N. M. Gunnell. Harl Lunch, P. Dr. A. M. 14, but what P. E. He expounded L. St. Mark. Code of Mui Bika, if the ha SUTV Han, who had been a any old ODN less as damn ball het paked T. E. And the item Inca E. Pon, and then they win her could semnin 5 at S. A. Lo Van. Lit. Da. At da. 41 Horde. Vadison, Fayville L. We were. The Bible stands like a rock, undaunted Haldo Lalinas, 1917. The Bible stands like a rock, undaunted, mid the raging storms of time. Its pages burn with the truth eternal, and they glow with a light sublime. Chorus. The Bible stands though, the hills may tumble. It will firmly stand when the earth shall crumble. I will plant my feet on its firm foundation. For the Bible stands, the Bible stands. The Bible stands like a mountain touring, far above the works of man. Its truth by none ever was refuted, and destroy it they never can. Chorus. The Bible stands, and it will forever, when the world has passed away, by inspiration it has been given, all its precepts I will obey. Chorus. The Bible stands every test we give it, for its author is divine. By grace alone I will expect to live it, and to prove it and make it mine. Chorus. Just remember, the KJV Bible is God's word, but those modern English translations are of Satan. The truth is not out there, it's in here. King James Instructions to the Translators The following set of rules have been prepared on behalf of church and state by Richard Bancroft, Bishop of London and High Church Anglican. For the better ordering of the proceedings of the translators, His Majesty recommended the following rules to them, to be very carefully observed. 1. The ordinary Bible, read in the church, commonly called the Bishop's Bible, to be followed, and as little altered as the original will permit. 2. The names of the prophets and the holy writers, with the other names in the text, to be retained, as near as may be, according as they are vulgarly used. 3. The old ecclesiastical words, to be kept, as the word church, not to be translated congregation, and c. 4. When any word hath diverse significations, that to be kept, which has been most commonly used by the most eminent fathers, being agreeable to the propriety of the place, and the analogy of the faith. 5. The division of the chapters to be altered, either not at all, or as little as may be, if necessity so require. 6. No marginal notes at all to be affixed, but only for the explanation of the Hebrew or Greek words, which cannot, without some circumlocution, so briefly and fitly be expressed in the text. 7. Such quotations of places to be marginally set down, as shall serve for the fit references of one scripture to another. 8. 
every particular man of each company to take the same chapter of chapters, and having translated or amended them severally by himself, where he thinks good, all to meet together, to confer what they have done, and agree for their part what shall stand. 9. As any one company hath dispatched any one book in this manner, they shall send it to the rest to be considered of seriously and judiciously, for His Majesty is very careful in this point. 10. If any company, upon the review of the book so sent, shall doubt or differ upon any places, and therewithal, to send their reasons, to which if they consent not, the difference to be compounded at the general meeting, which is to be the chief persons of each company, at the end of the work. 11. When any place of special obscurity is doubted of, letters to be directly by authority, to send to any learned in the land for his judgment in such a place. 12. Letters to be sent from every bishop to the rest of the clergy, admonishing them of this translation in hand, and to move and charge as many as being skillful in the tongues, have taken pains in that kind, to send their particular observations to the company, either at Westminster, Cambridge, or Oxford, according as it was directed before the King's letter to the Archbishop. 13. The directors in each company to be deans of Westminster and Chester, and the King's professors in Hebrew and Greek in the two universities. 14. These translations to be used when they agree better with the text than the Bishop's Bible, viz. Tyndall's, Coverdale's, Matthew's, Wilchurch's, Asterisk Geneva. Asterisk by Wilchurch is meant the Great Bible, which was printed by Edward Wilchurch, one of King Henry VIII's printers by David W. Daniels, 2001, http colon slash slash www.chick.com slash ask slash articles slash translators to ASP. For the Word of God is quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, and as a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Hebrews 4 verse 12. Closer. Walk Chapter 3. Philippians. The Fellowship of His Sufferings. About the Author. MYLNYF Iniquily Prophecy. Admiral Time Past. For you see. IRYT. D4DA. But N. Acts. We. Know ye not that so many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death? Romans 6 verse 3 Therefore we are buried with him by baptism into death, that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by walk in the glory of the Father even newness of life. Romans 6 verse 4 For if we have been planted, the twelve chosen for together in the likeness of his Sisyon gospel of death, we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection. Knowing this, that our old ma is crucified with him, that body of sin might be destroyed, that he th we should know. The Rom 6, 5, of Israel, Law Circumcision, 1440, the Law, Prophecy, Rightly Dividing the Word of, 215, of Israel Law, Edge Truth, Knowledge, the, Him, Why Shack Reveal True, and and SM, Company, Nor W.O., Away from Gospel, Which E.H.S. Preached, Mary and Mary, She was saved in 1990. She became not only a King James Bible user, but a King James Bible believer in 2014. She has more than 25 years of experience teaching the Bible, 18 of those years were with the Awana Clubs where she earned her Citation Award for Bible Memorization. In 2015, she was introduced to Pauline Dispensational Truth by watching Les Feldick on YouTube. After learning the basics of rightly dividing the word of truth, 2 Timothy 2 verse 15, she learned more from the Bible and Richard Jordan and his Grace School of the Bible. A retired nurse midwife, she has devoted the rest of her life to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery, f. 3 9, she teaches a Bible study in her home which is available on Facebook and YouTube, MarianneManley.com. Her joy after understanding the Bible better led her to edify the body of Christ by writing God's Secret in 2017. Then Romans, a concise commentary, 1 Corinthians, a commentary. 
2 Corinthians, a commentary and Galatians, a commentary, Treasure Hunt Volume 1, Ephesians a commentary, and Philippians, Colossians, Philemon commentary, and Treasure Hunt Volume 2, Paul's prison epistles, Why was the earth without form, void, and dark? Just as God said for children, the certainty of the pre-tribulation rapture, 1st and 2nd Thessalonians Commentary. Paul's Pastoral Epistles, Timothy Letters, Titus, and Philemon, Treasure Hunt Volume 3, Paul's T-Books, Acts of the Apostles Commentary Part 1, 2, 3. Missed the rapture? Read this commentary on Hebrew, and How to Be Saved Made Simple, and the Rightly Dividing Study Guides. Many people have all her books, other books by Marianne Manley. God's Secret A Primer with Pictures for How to Rightly Divide the Word of Truth on Amazon.com in Black and White Edition and in Spanish El Secreto de Dios. Rightly Dividing Galatians Study Guide. Rightly Dividing 2 Corinthians Study Guide. Rightly Dividing 1 Corinthians Study Guide. Rightly Dividing Romans Study Guide. Romans, a concise commentary, also in a Black and White Edition. 1 Corinthians, a commentary. 2 Corinthians, a commentary. Galatians, a commentary. Ephesians, a commentary. Philippians, Colossians, Philemon, commentary. The Certainty of the Pre-Tribulation Rapture, 1 and 2 Thessalonians, Paul's Pastoral Epistles, Timothy Letters, Titus, and Philemon, commentary. Treasure Hunt Volume 1, Commentary Only Romans to Galatians. Treasure Hunt Volume 2, Commentary Only on Paul's Prison Epistles, Treasure Hunt Volume 3, Commentary on Paul's Tea Books. Why was the earth without form, void, and dark? Just as God said. Acts of the Apostles Commentary Part 1, 2, 3. Missed the Rapture? Read this commentary on Hebrews. How to be saved made simple. This booklet is perfect for our lost loved ones. Could God have a 7,000-year plan for mankind? Also in black and white and AD 34, the year Jesus died for all, same content as could God, in 9 by 6 size. The author may be contacted by email at mariannemanley at sbcglobal.net Please visit her website, www.mariannemanley.com, free.pdf. Files Follow her on Facebook at facebook.com slash marianne.manly.7 and God's Secret Facebook page at facebook.com slash God's Secret Primer with pictures. Find her on YouTube, just type in her name and find her teaching the Bible. A chapter at a time on Truth Be Told YouTube channel or on her salvation, rightly dividing, and the Rapture YouTube channel or call 858-273-2049.